What is up YouTube? Today we are doing part 3 of the mini motorcycle build. Now, like I said at the end of part 2, um, eventually I will be wanting to put a custom gas tank on here, a custom seat, and I want to put a body paneling on here to make it look like an actually real motorcycle. But before I do all that, all that stuff, what I want to do is I want to first get it running and actually drive it to make sure it actually will work. So. What we're going to be doing is putting a temporary gas tank on here, which I've already done. We're going to be mounting a mini bike seat temporarily, so mounting it right there, temporary seat right there. We're going to be hooking up the uh, steer, the not steering wheel, the handlebars. We're going to be hooking up the front brakes. We need to get the uh, engine bolted down. We need to finalize the gearbox. We need to get oil for it. I need to buy that tomorrow, and uh, we need to just hook everything up just to get it to to uh, do a test ride and then uh, once I do a test ride then I will start you know focusing on making this thing actually look like a real motorcycle but first let's start uh, trying to get it to ride like a motorcycle so I was actually able to uh, test this thing yesterday I just took it up the road a little bit I know you guys you know want to see this thing moving and I'll get to that soon but there's one major issue that we have to change before that happens one is the gearing is completely wrong on this thing so that sprocket is way too big and if you wanted to, you could probably take off in third gear from a standstill. That is how bad the gearing is. So, it's wrong, need to change it, and uh, what I'm going to do is, this is a, uh, if I remember right, this is actually the same sprocket as that one, and it is a 36 tooth sprocket, which it says right there. Now this is a sprocket that I just bought, and it is, it is a uh, 24 tooth sprocket. You can see the size difference and uh, I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. I'm going to replace uh, this sprocket with this one. I'm hoping that's going to be enough 
If not, I'm going to have to make this pulley or this uh, sprocket much bigger, as big as uh, I can make it. But if I just made this pulley bigger, or a, sorry, sprocket, if I just made this sprocket bigger, it would just put a lot of uh, stress, it would put more stress on the uh, gearbox. But if I need to, what I'll do is make that as small as possible, really can't change this, make this as small as possible, and make this as large as possible, and just hope that that works. But uh, first things first, let's change that sprocket and uh, see if it makes any difference. So I think I finally got the gearing where it needs to be. Before it was way too low, it was way too slow for this thing, and I think I finally got it to where it performs perfectly. Now I had to change this sprocket, the sprocket on the wheel. I, I'm not, I can't remember how many teeth were on it originally, but I had to change it to a 24 tooth sprocket, I believe. A 24 tooth sprocket and it looks completely tiny on that wheel. It looks kind of ridiculous, but that's just how small I had to go to get up to the speed that I want. Now, I also had to change the sprocket on the motor. Now, I believe the motor originally had a 13 tooth sprocket on here, and I had to change it to a 20 tooth sprocket, and that really made the difference. That really, uh made it to where it actually drove the speed that I want. So, unfortunately, when this thing is running, it's the cha this chain is so loud because there's a metal idler pulley on here. This is what is so loud. That's all you hear when you're riding this thing. All you hear is this chain whirling around and this idler pulley uh, just making a ton of racket. So you don't even hear the motor running or the muffler. All you hear is this chain whirling around really fast. So I'm hoping that once I enclose this, eventually I will be attempting to take a you know, two and a quarter inch metal strip all the way around here and then somehow bolting another piece of plate on top of that. Hopefully water uh, tight so I can fill this thing full of oil and hopefully that will quiet it up to where you won't hear it and you won't be worried that your pant leg is going to be caught in it. So hopefully once I do that, hopefully it'll quiet it up and you can actually hear the motor running, but uh, it's going to take me a little while to get that done. So in this video at the end, I think we're going to, I'm not going to do a full test ride just because I'll save that for the next video of this project. What we're going to do is I'm just going to start it up, show you guys what it sounds like, and I'm just going to take off a little bit, show you guys, you know, just what this thing looks like while I'm sitting on it. And then the next video, I will do a full riding video and uh, do a lot better job of the riding than I did last time of the scooter. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's see what this thing can do. Alright, let's see what this thing can do.
That thing's fun. So as you can see, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty fun to ride. And it actually moves pretty well. It's not the most perfect thing ever, but considering it's a Predator motor running a dirt bike gearbox, you know, considering that, yes, it does. It works pretty well. Now, I know that the chain connecting the motor to the gearbox is very loud. It's obnoxious. That's all you hear. When, uh, when this thing's running, but hopefully once I enclose that and fill it full of oil, hopefully it'll quiet it up so where you don't hear it anymore, plus you're not afraid. I already said this. So, at, I know, I read the comments on, in the last video of this project where you guys kept saying how you think it's too long, it's too low, and I really didn't mean for it to turn out this long. Yes, it is very long, but it gives a little bit of character. You, you ha kind of have to lean into to grab the handlebars and yes, it's kind of uncomfortable to do that, but it does give it a little bit of character. It is very small, so therefore, you know, it's going to be a little bit longer. Plus, I had to lengthen it a lot to accommodate the size of the gear of the engine and the gearbox. So, now I could, if I really wanted to, I could shorten it by two inches and it would kind of make it look a little bit shorter, but if I did that, I, it wouldn't just be cut a piece of pipe, cut two inches out of the frame and bring it together and weld it. It wouldn't be that easy. It would be a lot of modification. I'd have basically have to remake a new engine plate. So I'm not going to do it. It's only two inches that I could shorten this thing if I wanted to, so I'm not gonna do it just because I like it. It looks fine and it, you know, if it's too long, then it's too long. You know, it gives it character. So I think it's finally time to stop, you know, focusing mainly on building this and start building on the Suzuki GS500 engine. Finally building the go-kart for that engine. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to stop rambling. And uh, next video of this will be a full riding video. We're going to see how fast this actually goes. And... Uh, you know, more on that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, check out my Facebook fan page. Link is in the description below. I'll, I try to, you know, post stuff as much as I can on there on what I'm doing and, you know, projects on, on everything. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day.